Hi guys, it's Liz here and today I'm back with another video. Today I have something very, very exciting. I wanted to review the BFF palette by Elsie and Alondra by BH Cosmetics. So if you're interested in seeing how I came up with this look and how pigmented these eyeshadows really are, then just keep on watching my video. So I'm going to start by just taking my hair out of my face. That way you guys can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just want to start off with a clean base. And I always like using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I feel like it gives me a really, really, really clean base to start with and I really like that. So we're just going to put some on our eyelid. And then I'm going to use my little brush, my little brush, my little sponge to blend it out. I don't know if I already said this, but my cat, um... My cat likes playing with my sponges, so she messed up all my other ones, and this is the only one that I'm left with. But let me just blend this out really, really good. So this is the palette right here. I'm going to probably put close-ups at the beginning of the video that we you guys can see. going to start with the color OOTD which is this brown one right here and I'm going to take a flat brush and we're just going to start in our inner corner So if it doesn't look even, don't even worry about it because that's why we have concealer and concealer fixes everything. So we're going to get a little brush like this. And you're just going to go in onto your concealer. And now we're just going to even it out with this side. Now I'm going to take a little brush like this and we're going to go in with the color Latte and a little bit of aloe and else. Barely even get a little bit because I did notice that when I was doing the other eye, they're very, very pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. We're going to try to diffuse the inner corner. So I don't know if you guys could see, but you just need so, so little and... These colors are very, very pigmented. I was very, very surprised. I haven't bought from BH in a while, to be honest. But I'm very, very surprised because they're super pigmented. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with my little brush. And I'm going to just get a little bit of concealer because I really want to define that this little thingy right here i don't know what to call it but i really want to define that so it can look really really nice and sharp so you're just going to take some concealer and sharpen up that edge like that so now i'm going to take my little sponge i'm going to blend that out I'm going to get some of the Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to set that so it doesn't go anywhere. So now you're going to go back in with this little tiny brush and you're just going to blend all this out once again. You can even go back with a little bit of latte. Not too much, just a tiny little bit and then you use that to blend it out back in with OOTD which was that first dark one we used and I'm gonna get the same brush the one that we used for our inner corner 
I'm gonna get a little of that. Like I said, you don't need too much of the eyeshadows because they're very, very pigmented. And then you're just gonna try to do a wing eyeliner with the eyeshadow. And don't worry if it's not perfect because we can clean it up later, like I said. So let me make sure that I kind of have them even. You're going to go back in with a little brush. And even if it doesn't have any product on it, it's fine. Whatever's left on there, you're just going to use it to diffuse this out really nice. That way it's really well blended. So now that you're kind of looking a little bit crazy like that, you're going to go back in with your concealer. You're going to go back and you're going to get your little brush. You're going to get a little bit of concealer so we can clean that wing liner up. And try to get it as even as you can with the other side. So, okay, mine's about right here. I'm gonna go with a little bit of OOTD, get a little tiny brush like this, and I'm just gonna define my eyeliner really nice. I'm gonna go in with the clean flat brush. I'm gonna take this one. I always use this one for my concealer, so it's okay. And we're just gonna blend all our concealer out. We're gonna get the tit little tiny brush again. And we're gonna once again blend it out. go in with a little brush like this one right here and we're going to take the color blessed which is this one in the top right corner and we're just going to get a little bit of that do you guys see how pigmented these are so now um let me do my eyebrow and then my face makeup on this side and then I'm going to come back so we can finish the rest of the face. Okay, so I just got done doing my eyebrows and I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm going to get a little brush like this and we're going to go back in with the color Blessed. And we're going to put that right on our brow bone. Let me hold my hair back so you guys can really, really see that color. I really hope that my ring light is picking it up good. But it's very, very pigment, pigmented. It's very, very pigmented. It's a really, really, really pretty color. Like, do you guys see that? And I'm barely even like tapping it in. So now I'm gonna do my foundation and then we're gonna finish the rest of the face. For my highlighter, I really wanna use that color again. So now I'm just going to take a bigger blush, a bigger blush, a bigger brush, and I'm going to go back in with the color Blessed. And now I'm going to go in with a tiny little brush and I'm going to go in with the color Latte and we're just going to put that on our under eye. So I'm going to try to do this without stabbing myself in the eye. For blush. I think I'm just even gonna use the color BFF right there. So let's try to aim at it because my blush brush is kind of big. Now let me 
me just put on my mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using, by the way, is the Sky High Maybelline New York Mascara. I think this came out not too long ago and I've been really, really liking it. So let me just put my mascara on my eyelashes and then I'll finish the rest of my face so we can wrap up the video. So I put on my eyelashes and then I put on my lower mascara. So now I'm just going to put on the lipstick. I wasn't able to get their lipsticks because when I got on the site, they were already sold out. So I was just able to get the palette. And where I live, it, there's so much snow right now. So I can't go to Ulta and get it. But I'm going to try my best to kind of recreate. Not recreate. I'm just going to put on like a nude lipstick. So I'm going to go in with the Kyliner in the color coconut. And I'm just going to outline my lips. <laughs> going with the color Taurus Taurus I don't know how to say that word ever but it's the one from Colourpop I believe this one's the one from the Kathleen Lights collection I feel like my lipstick looks way too dark let me try to here I'm gonna use the color Money Moose and let's see if we can make it a little bit lighter Oh, there we go. So this is the finished look. I really, really love how my eyeshadow turned out. I hope you guys liked it as well. But it's a really, really nice pigmented palette. 